Welcome back, YouTubers. Uh, welcome to my second video of the good, the bad, the ugly. I got some uh, comments that I'm not, uh, I may have got my point across. If you guys have an all wheel drive or a four wheel drive and you don't have your dream truck, I want you to go out there and use it. I have some footage coming up where this is my daily driver. Um, yes, I, I've had an 15 years of experience and I've had multiple vehicles but get out there and enjoy your all-wheel drive or your four-wheel drive at places like Azusa there are some other places in Tehachapi you can go um, camping trips things use what you have to go out and enjoy what you can do it's not just about having your dream truck I want you to go out there and enjoy what you have uh, I'm gonna do basic maintenance on today uh, but uh, today we're going to work on uh, another vehicle I have for choice, and that's going to be the uh, Jeeps. I've had several Jeeps in the past, like this guy. This guy had a limousine, decided to make it a four-wheel drive. So, yeah, just different footages. By the way, this was my first off-road vehicle. It's a two-wheel drive Dodge 50. Yes, two-wheel drive with an eight-foot bed. Gutless Wonder is what we used to call it, or GW. And this is my first off-roader, so don't be afraid to use it. So when the vehicle started blowing smoke, I tried it in and I got this. It was my first Jeep, 1986 Jeep CJ7. Of course, first thing I did was put a lift on it, 35s on it. Then I went with a 6-inch lift and put a light bar on it and put 37s on it. Yeah, let's go into the maintenance. Yeah, my CJ7 Jeep, I drove it everywhere. San Diego, that's where I was working. I drove up to LA, caught fire, broke axle shafts. Actually, I spun them, uh, broke third gear several times. Um, I ended up putting a light bar on it, like all my other vehicles. That was started with the first one that I had, where I put a light bar on my dad bet I couldn't do it. He used to get his... Uh, plumbing trucks from Good Q Ambulance back then and uh, had a lot of spare parts so I learned a lot of my wiring after uh, getting out of the military. So yeah, the Jeep was a great, uh, got a 20 gallon, or 21 miles per gallon, um, had a 4.2 liter, I went through three motors including one fire. Um, I later traded that one uh, for Crown Vic, not a very good four-wheel drive, and then after the Crown Vic, I ended up getting my first Toyota, which was a 1991, but we're not talking about Toyotas today. In the later years, I ended up getting a YJ Series Jeep. So, back from the canyon, and a big puddle of water underneath. Right here is dry. So looking at it, it looks like I lost the water pump. Every time I go down to the canyon. Ah, I'm going to have to buy another water pump. Great. I placed the radiator when I got it, I think. Transmission lines, everything's got to come out again. Uh, right. Well, I guess we'll take the other truck. Yeah. Okay, Kenyan update. I didn't make it this weekend. Every time I seem to go down there, this Jeep breaks something. Uh, first time the electronics failed, left me stalled on the freeway. Next time, stalled out because the airbox was filled with that soot sand. And this time, uh, water pump failure. As you can see, it's been leaking down. Okay, more updated ma uh, maintenance. Um, just want to let you guys know. Alright, see this hose down here? Right here? 
Okay, um, that is actually your front diff breather. Um, make sure that is in proper place. Also, that dust is horrible. And I cleaned the airbox several times, but I also found this piece in the junkyard, which my truck didn't have, which kind of gets it so it pulls it out of the front lens down in that which you know when the smoke starts coming it comes up on this side and like this was right above the tire so that may cut down with what's getting sucked in the air box so that's something to be aware of it also explains that um when that guy took a wall of water over the top of his hood um how the air box as soon as he takes it over the grill then you start sucking water so just be aware about that guys um just other maintenance i'm doing um yeah my tires look okay but they're they're badly warm it's almost time for a new set so i'm going to rotate these tires with the back ones try to get a little more life um i'm also going to go with a narrower tire if i can try to get some increased gas mileage i'm getting about 16 right now I know it has the aerodynamics of a flying brick, but with all the driving I'm doing and gas prices, I'm going to see if that uh, can increase any better on my uh, gas mileage. So, uh, yeah, once again, I'm going to put in a brand new water pump. The other one took a crap. Um, just dripping out. I showed you the other pictures. So, keep leaving those contents. Uh, if I get uh, 150... Uh, well, 1,500 subscribers, I'll be giving out a winch. So just be aware. Um, and then if you guys like the series, I know you like the ones on the older trucks. Uh, I'm going to do one on Jeeps. And I'll tell you, I've had Jeeps. I've had CJ7s, YJs. I have this one. you got to keep up on the maintenance, uh, even with all the other trucks. Um, you know, almost like a military regiment. So I also replaced the belt. Um, it's a little bit cracked, but um, yeah, it's not terribly bad. But you can start seeing some cracks in here. So just replace it while I was in there. Um, so once again, first time I went down there, the lower part of the distributor took a crap, left me stranded. Second time I went down there, uh, air box was so badly clogged with soot uh that i couldn't draw in enough air for combustion <laughs> and now i went down there and the pump took a crap it was my first day off so i fixed it so that's where we're at uh just a thing on what i've done so i have another video where i put the two inch suspension only so i replaced it from uh it was bds uh, two inch lift, inch and a half, two inch lift. So that gave me things. I'm only running 30, um, 30, 9.5, 15s. And I did the 12 port injector upgrade. Um, so yeah, I went to I, some guy on the internet. I'll leave the link in below. But yeah, and uh, every once in a while I'll have a problem with it. But uh, I got to admit, buying the caps and stuff, I, I like the 12. And when I was first driving, I was getting 12 to 13. 14 to 15 to 16. I apologize for the length of the video. This is more about the 1995 Jeep Grand Cherokee. There is other useful information in here. Now let's go to the maintenance. And this goes from most of the earlier model Jeeps and the later model Jeeps. So let's get some uh, under chassis stuff. And let's explain what you have to do for maintenance. And this goes for all off-road vehicles, not just Jeeps. Uh, they're basically mechanically the same, just different manufacturers. So this is the under chassis of a 1995 Grand Cherokee with the solid front axle. I'm checking for lubrication points. Front axle, where the CV joint is up here. Um, this is most four-wheel drives. 
if they go underwater, you will have to lubricate them. That dust that we keep talking about will destroy this stuff if you do not keep it out. It is very abrasive and destroys seals. So this is with most four-wheel drives. This one has a front solid axle, transfer case, CV joint. If they have lubricatable uh, Zerk fittings, by all means lubricate them. I used to do it every single weekend I went down. If it was really bad, I would do it so the water couldn't sit in there because when you force the grease in, it forces the water and the junk out. So this will be one of a uh, couple videos I do. This may be part one of two of my second one. And hit that subscribe if you like, and we'll continue.